Now, when I took this apart, it had a lot of gasket sealer around the intake to keep it from uh, sucking in the air. And I'm going to do the same thing. And I do this often. Just a little bit of silicone. 1211 3 Bond is my choice. And just kind of stack the gaskets in. Little 1211 3 Bond gasket. Some more 1211 3 Bond. These have V Force reeds. I think I showed you earlier with the stock bat wings cut off. The stock boot has little O-rings on it and should not even have to take a gasket on this side. But I always put one on as most bikes I tear down always have them on also. Makes cleanup a little harder but you shouldn't have to be tearing them down that often. <clears throat> and he's scared of a little cleanup. All right, that is one reed and intake installed. I'll go around and do the other side. Not as easy as the Banshee, but still not bad with the carbs. All together, you just drop them right down through the center of the frame. And once down, rotate it in. And uh, get that little RPM cable, your tack, right through the upper hold bar of the carburetors. It just goes right through the center. Make sure you have your choke tube on below the choke tube above the, the piece of steel that holds the two carburetor two carburetors together off the float bowl underneath the crossbar and cables out of the way and push them in. Ah. Okay, lower cable, upper cable, gas line, tack. All right, I got the carbs back in and um, get all the overflow tubes back on here. And let's see what else we have to do. Oh, I gotta hook up the throttle lines. Uh, they've got a open and shut line. Um, uh, put all the electronics back and get the coil back on there and uh, fill her up with fluids and fire her up. Okay, I got some fluid in it. I got some oil in it. Nothing is topped off. Um, put a little gas in the tank. Pre-mix now because we took the injectors off. So injector unit removed. Well, tires flat. You have to put some, have to put some uh, air in the tires. But this is just trying to get it started. Priming it. This is just priming it. That's off with the throttle wide open to get some fuel in the cylinder. Now I got it on. Choke. Obviously, the idle's a little off. That was uh, between 2,500 and 3,000. But she starts. So now, tuning. That makes 
makes a huge difference. Real quick, some tuning on the RZ carbs. Um, I had 350s in, and the thing felt like it was starving uh, when you uh, cracked it open and then got off the throttle. It sounded a, a bit lean at the high RPM also. So um, I'm going to go to the 410s, which is what Toomey recommends, 410, 420. But that's with the oil injection and we we removed the oil injection so we leaned it out quite a bit which means it'll it'll have more gas per part um, than the injection but it is fully ported so i'm gonna go up to four tens and see how it does also this this one will control the idle up and down on both slides this one this flat one will only control this slide. So a uh, little bit of syncing information for you. You can use the sync tool also and probably even make it easier. But I do it just where I see light on both. And then I proceed to get the idle correct with this screw while it's on the bike. It's kind of hard to get to, but you can you can get a little screwdriver in there and, and uh, fine tune it. Um, what I do is, as soon as I see light, I do about one, one to two turns on this. So I'll put it out one and uh, take it from there. Let's get these four tens on. Remember, the bowls are numbered, so you get the correct bowl on the correct side. Like the Banshee, uh, they are numbered 1-1 one, one, and 1-2. One, you can see it. See it sticking up? <laughs> and this one doesn't. This one's tight. This one's just vibrated out. It's pressed. So the main jet with the little brass will hold it down tight, brings it back down. Still fighting me. Okay, main jet in. Whew. Now, she's got four tens. Okay, when I'm really having serious trouble with carbs and starting on the Banshee, on any two stroke, could work on a four stroke too, but I typically don't do four strokes, mostly just two strokes. Not because I don't want to, it's just uh, too busy to take on any more stuff. So I just popped the carbs in to the intake. Um, I do this without 
tightening anything down because that's a tight fit uh, just for testing. I don't hook up the throttle cables, nothing, okay? Leave it. Um, and then I take and just hook up the gas line. So I'm just gonna lay the tank down on it. Okay, and just hook the gas line up. Pull the choke out. Now, it should start. If you have the carburetors set up correctly, this will start. Power on. through all its warm-up and everything but that is a cold bike and any bike should start that way if you can't get your bike started uh, with the throttle cable unhooked um, it's not set up right you can hook it up and get it started and running and tune it to where you think it should be and then unhook it and uh, it should be cold wait overnight and see if you can start it in the morning or you can do it right away also, but it's better on a cold motor. motor. Uh, unhook the throttle cable and then try and start it. In other words, you sh if everything's perfect, you shouldn't have to give it any gas or manipulate the throttle while starting. problem it's another this is a good problem to have though thing is ripping I think um, all the little issues are out it has 410 in it and it's acting fine um, according to Toomey's website that should be plenty and it's not getting injected automatically anymore you pre-mix it so there's that, that you do that a lot leaner so there's a lot more gas per oil now um, she feels really good and she ripped so uh, clutch is smoked now um, I've got some of those I don't know if he's gonna want me to put a clutch on it or not uh, but woo! I love these bikes it's time to say goodbye to the old Yamaha RZ350. I had to put a clutch in it, and that was the last thing that was done besides uh, tuning the carb with that damn slipping emulsion tube. It was actually slipping in and out. Um, heavy duty clutch, I used the same drag clutch I use on the Banshees, should hold it very well. I'm sad to see it go. It runs really nice. I wanna buy it, I, I wanna keep this one. Not many of them that I do want to keep, but this is one.
seems a little on the fat side, but I think we're going to leave it because uh, it's very safe. She's uh, ready to go home. Working good. Shedding some tears? Yeah, I really like it. It's uh, it's a really fun bike. And a very, very, very nice example of 1985 Yamaha two-stroke. Huh? Yeah. <sighs> you can see that you... Did you replace the whole thing? Uh, no, this is... This is this is everything's original mm -hmm. i uh you just drilled out the i bored and honed fitted it with new pistons because uh they the compression was lacking and then i did my normal you know port grind all that to manipulate mm -hmm. the the air and fuel through there so it makes good power uh jetted the carbs um had to clean them out real good they were gummed mm -hmm. up a bit um and uh, removed the oil injection. You know, this had a mechanical injection. Can You can see the little uh -huh. nipple on the carb. Each carb has this nipple, had a line running down into here, into and there the was a mechanical, oil. yeah. And then there was an oil tank oh. on the other side behind. So it's not dipped in the... So it's not okay. pulling oil from the oil tank and pushing it into the carbs mm -hmm. to lubricate the crank bearings with the gas. Mm -hmm. um, now, because he wanted that removed, and a lot of these guys on these old two-strokes don't want to rely on the mechanical. They want to take the oil tank off and all the extra mm -hmm. hoses and the mechanical little motor. And they just put motor. the oil in there and that... And then they just mix it, pre-mix it. Oh, you know, they okay. just pre-mix it in the gas tank. Kind of like what you do with the, the, the off-road bikes, you know, the... Yeah. Uh, the the Banshees the and little, the 250Rs. Uh, 